and bangs. And in today's video, I am going to be touring the Rainier. This home is sold, but it's beautiful. So we are going to have to check it out. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, the Rainier is out here at Clayton Homes in Franklinton, North Carolina. Beautiful home. This home, I didn't even notice how many bedrooms, but when I tell you, it's got to be four or five. We're going to see as we go because I was so, I got so enthusiastic about what I was looking at that I didn't even count. So let's go take a look at the rainier the house as you can see from the window is sold but they can always order some more this home is beautiful it's massive and i can't wait to show it to you wonderful so this is the view you see when you walk into the house did i turn on the lights let's see if the lights are still on Perfect. So this is what you see when you walk into the house. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This is your front door here. Love this large area. I'm going to back up so you can see the whole of this living room. So all of that, you guys, is your living room. That's your front door. Two large windows in here, bringing in lots of natural light. Now, this particular home doesn't have the finished drywall, but it can be ordered like that. The vents can be ordered in the ceiling. It does have can lighting. If you want ceiling fans or what have you, none of those things have to be a deal breaker because the, the fun part is ordering the house just the way you want it, making it custom. So really nice. So this, you guys, is your living room. I'll go over here and let you see it from this view. Really lovely. So this is your living room. Love it, love it. Next to your living room is your dining room. They've got a rather large table in here, but you've got space to make it bigger. So keep that in mind if this isn't big enough. Look how much space you have around the dining room table. Okay, so you do have space to extend that, make that a bigger table or whatever you need to do. But this is your dining room area. Really pretty. Really nice. So that's your dining room right next to the living room. And then next to the dining room, you have your kitchen. You have a large island here. They have this one, charcoal gray with light countertops. They have three bar stools, but if you use a smaller stool, you could probably put four. You've got a drink station over here or whatever you choose to do with it. I love the fact that they have like the same backsplash as behind the kitchen and then um, open shelving over here. So really nice. You've got lower cabinets over here for storage. You've got storage around the refrigerator. And then you have all of that cabinet um, and drawer space over here as well. And cabinet space under the island. Really lovely. Now, this one has the island in the sink. Love that you have all this prep space on the island. And room for your guests, even if you are utilizing the sink so really pretty your cabinets go all the way to the ceiling really nice stainless steel appliances in here love the hutch i love these hutches and i love it almost looks like a cement now this actually isn't tile i thought it was tile this is a wallpaper you guys really pretty really pretty I love a wallpaper that doesn't look like a wallpaper. So really nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's a wallpaper. I thought it was tile. Okay. 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 Got a pantry in here. So even though you have all of the storage, you have pantry space in here. You can go with the wire racks or you can upgrade your racks. It's really up to you. 
really nice. That is your kitchen. Love it. Look at all the windows in here, just in this area alone. All the light that's coming in. Really pretty. Now, you got another entertaining space right here off the dining room. This large opening opens up into a family room, bonus room, man cave, whatever you want to call it. So this could be more of a formal area and this could be like a family area. You also have sliders in here. So you could have a big deck out here. The entertaining space extends outside right here. So really lovely. I would put a huge porch or deck back there. Really nice. I'll go slow-mo and let you see this space. Perfect. Got your feature wall right there. <sighs> really lovely. So since we've started on this side of the house, let's go take a look at the... Uh, now, wait a minute. Nope, we're going to go on the other side of the house first because this is the master. But right here you have the laundry room, and which is off the kitchen. The kitchen is there. So you have your laundry room here. Now when you walk in... Your washer and dryer goes there. And then you've got this cubby here for like a deep freezer. Really nice. Sorry, my boots make so much noise, you guys. So, okay, this is your laundry room again. It is off the kitchen. The master's here, so we'll come back. We're going to go through your bonus room into the dining room. All right, now we're gonna go through the living room. And I call this a bonus area too, because on this side of the house, you have like this common area here in the middle. They have a foosball table here, but what would you do with this space? Now you've got one, two, three bedrooms on this side. So if you have bigger kids or even little kids, this could be like a play area, or this could be their classroom, or this could be, I don't know, whatever you choose, a multi-purpose room, just whatever you choose. But I love the fact that they've got this area. So imagine you're having a big family gathering, right? You've got family in the living room, people sitting at the table eating, you're in the kitchen cooking, the men are in the den watching the game, your husband is outside on the patio with a bunch of other people cooking on the grill. And all of the kids are in here playing foosball, pool, uh, video games on the TV that's in this room, whatever you like. So just a great entertaining space. Now, this room actually has a closet. So I'm wondering if they consider it a bedroom but it's open, so I would probably do like a hall closet. If if this was my home, I would use this as like, you know, guests to put their coats in because this room is open. And unless this was just a nursery, I wouldn't use it for a bedroom, but it, it technically when a room has a closet, they consider it a bedroom. All right, so when you come in from the living room, again, you have this common area here we're going to go to the left first. You have additional bedroom number one. So this is your first additional bedroom. Really nice. I think I would have to do finished drywall in this house. Is this, this house is just too big and beautiful. I would have to do finished drywall and vents in the ceiling. Really nice. Not that I have anything against it because my home has panels. But if I was investing in this big home and I had a big family, I don't know. It depends on my budget. It's nothing wrong with it. I, we have panels in our home. This is the additional. I'm going to cut the fan off. This is the additional bathroom. Really lovely. It's cozy. 
But hey, one person at a time can get ready in here. Love it. Additional bathroom. And we'll. this is back to the common area here, you guys. So from the living room, we saw the first bedroom and a bathroom. And then this way, you have additional bedroom number two. No carpet. Really nice. Love it. Now, you have another standard closet in here. And then here's the kicker. This is bathroom, additional bathroom number two. And it's a, it's a Jack and Jill. So there's a bedroom there and it's got two sinks. Really lovely. And then you've got your, a separate room in here that has a toilet and the tub and shower. So really nice. So everybody got space on their own. Really nice. So here's the thing, the two middle, the baby child or the youngest and the middle can share this bathroom. And then the good thing is if you have the older child, right, could have their own side, their own bedroom and bathroom. And that will make things be smooth. So we saw this bedroom. Now we're gonna take a look at the third additional bedroom, which is the larger of the three. Really nice. Really nice. So you got another standard closet there and we just saw this bathroom, but this is a different view. Your Jack and Jill bathroom here. Oh, this house is so pretty. Okay, so we've seen all of this house. Again, this is the rainier. Now, we're gonna take a look at the primary. Back here, off to itself. Love it. Primary bedroom, you guys. Again, no carpet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love this bedroom. It's so nice in here. It just feels comfortable, doesn't it? Really nice. So again, this is a primary, you guys. Lots of great space. You've got your primary bathroom. Love the darker color wood for the double sinks. Love the fact that you've got an area that you can create into a glamour corner. You can put your makeup table over there, or you can do storage or hampers or a bench. It just really depends on your needs. You've got a huge shower here. Love it. Love this huge shower. You've got space for toilet juice here or your feet, like when you're scrubbing your feet, and then you've got space for toilet juice up there. Definitely would put a um, rain shower, shower head. And then this one doesn't have the glass, so you can put a cute little shower curtain there. Your toilet is over here. And then you have your primary closet in here. Lovely. Love it. Really nice. Love it, love it, love it. I love this home. There's the wallpaper in here. Really cute. Y'all, that really look like tile. Okay, so again, this is the Rainier. Beautiful. This home is four bedrooms, three baths, 2,001 square feet, and it's only 132,488. So if you enjoyed this home, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not currently following me, go ahead and hit that button down below so you're the first person to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.